Hey everyone, it's Tally. I'm coming to you from my apartment in Burbank, California, and you're watching Five Girls Five Minutes. Five Girls Talk Five Minutes, and don't edit the videos. It is Thursday. I am Tally, and I am thoroughly depressed by the way this Islanders Penguins game is going, and that the fact that the Penguins are up three nothing. It's just not fun when Marc Andre Fleury is in a net, letting in all the easy goals. Um, also, I think it's fun when I I would love to see what happens if the Penguins are eliminated in the first round of the playoffs. The heavy cup favorites, well, besides the Blackhawks, those are kind of the two big cup favorites. Um, but pretty much everyone has Penguins coming out of the East to the final, at least. So, um, I think it would be hilarious to see what would happen if they got knocked down in the first round, especially because I don't like the Penguins. Um, okay, now that I've covered Hockey Talk um, for this Five Girls, Five Minutes video, um, I'm going to talk about cars and the fact that figuring out what the heck I need to renew my license and uh, register my car in the state of California um, is driving me nuts. Like, oh my gosh, like seriously, like this is ridiculous. Um, uh, yeah, it's just like, there's so much and it's just like, and I was trying to calculate like how much it's going to cost to register my car. Um, and the calculation came up somewhere around $1,300, and I'm thinking that's a little, that can't be right. Like, if it's going to cost me $1,300 to register my vehicle, like, what? Like, that's insane. Like, that, there's no way. So I'm thinking maybe it's messed up because it was, like, maybe, like, having in some sort of fees or something. I don't know. Um, but I'll have to figure that out because I'm not officially a California resident yet because I'm not employed. Um, and so, yeah, so I've got to kind of figure that out. I don't know, but I don't, but yeah, it's frustrating going online and trying to figure all that stuff out. Um, other things that are frustrating are, holy crap, so I, um, am applying to a bunch of temp agencies, so I, you know, start off with this one that I know staffs one of the studios, so, oh my gosh, like, the application for that thing, like, I had to give less information when I was applying for college than I did on this freaking job application, like, Oh my gosh. And this is just to like, just for the pre-interview stuff, like ridiculous amounts of things. Like, I don't know. It was just sort of, it was like, okay, seriously, like every time I thought I was like, I'm almost done. No, you're not. You still got like 15 forms to fill out. And it's just like a lot of information. And then you have to like, you were, then you have to like list like your career. And then what are three things about you that might make you stand out to an employee or whatever? And like, I, by that point, I was like so done. I'm like, I'm not filling this out right now. And at least for that case, at that point, that one was at least optional. But then there was all this other information that I had to track down that was not optional. And it was just, it took forever. So I'm sort of like sick of forms and things right now. Um, but other than that, I did have, I have found some like job listings online and stuff and applied to things. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, let's see what else. Um, oh, uh, Louise was asking about sandwiches. Uh, obviously the correct answer to that question is a meatball sub. Um, I, there's not another answer to that question, but it's kind of sandwich is a meatball sub. Um, and then followed by uh, a roast beef sandwich with provolone on sourdough bread or for, um, or ciabatta bread. Yeah, so answer your question. Um, okay, I probably should come up with a question. Um, oh, okay, so um, I just got a package today from home. Uh, my mom sent me like some DVDs and stuff and um, um, I don't know if y'all know this, but um, E.L. Konigsberg, the author of uh, From the Mix of Files, Miss Baisley, Frank Weiler, among others, uh, passed away a few weeks ago. So my mom sent me a bunch of her books because I wanted to reread them. I already had mixed up files with me, but um, I really wanted to reread uh, Outcast of 19 Schuler Place and uh, Up from Jericho Tell. So, uh, and I love E.L. Konigsberg. She's one of my favorite authors. Um, I uh, actually had been rereading books by my other favorite author from childhood. This is just the cover. The book is over there, but uh, by Kate Kleiss. I've been reading the regarding the series, um, regarding the sink, regarding the trees, regarding the bathrooms, regarding the bees. And for some reason, I don't have regarding the fountain, which is the first one with me. Um, I don't know why I didn't end up packing it. So my question for this week is what is, who was your favorite author as a child? And don't say... JK Rowling, like, no, branch out a little bit. There are other authors. Uh, for me, uh, like, you know, besides JK Rowling, I guess I'll go with. Um, because like, that's just saying that you like the Harry Potter series and like, 
favorite author like not just from one series I guess maybe is the best way to put it like I love all of Kate Kleiss's books not just the ones in this series and I've got them all with me um uh Andrew Clements wrote Frindle among others that he was one of my favorite authors when I was growing up uh and then E.L. Konigsberg uh Eleanor Estes uh and I mean Judy Bloom obviously but that was more like middle school um so yeah those were some of my favorite authors oh and of course the babysitters club series but that's like that's not Anne Martin as one of my favorite authors because you know she's not like she didn't write like all gazillion babysitters club books um but I do like some of her other books as well so who knows all right so I'm out of time so um I hope everyone has a great week and I will see you all next Thursday